Hi everybody, it's me Ligar Lax and also known as Chino and Artie. Um, I'm showing you guys this. Mortal Kombat Trilogy, yeah, uh, this is a Sega Saturn version. Um, there is this website, I'm going to show you guys right now. I recommend going to uh, this website. Download the emulator called EMU-O. Okay, let me, let me go back. Okay. What you get out of this is, um, the best part about it is that you get every emulator that's available. See, look, it has five games available. It says it right there. Let me focus it. Yeah, right there, see? And I, I, I'm just still new at this. And then I just freshly installed it. The best way, I mean, the best emulator sh emulation that plays on this is N64, the Sega Genesis. Uh, PSP, certain games do just turn off, but it does run in full frames. Game Boy, all these games run. Nintendo, Sega Saturn, certain games do run, certain games don't. PlayStation runs perfectly on it, as well as Super Nintendo. The best part about it is when you go to apps, okay? You can actually, you know, build... Okay, this computer, okay, this laptop is actually five years old. You can actually play Steam on this. Okay, look. It has when I go to Media Center, it takes me to Cody. But when I go to Steam, it takes a moment for it to load. Okay, I am promoting this. Look, it just goes straight to the big picture mode, and then my library. Well, so far, I do not want to jeopardize my password because. Um, my password is under another computer, which is my tower computer. Uh, this is my library. So I have a bigger library right here in my pi big picture mode. Let me turn it on. So in my library, I actually have more games installed. You know, so there's a lot of free to play and some, you know, some of my other other games that I have but so far let me quit that um, I actually have Steam OS on this unit running on my Xbox Afterglow controller and the cool part about it is uh, you can you can do so much on it it's just that you can't log on Steam and so far like let me let me log out let me exit Steam and this is a Linux so when I'm actually going to play a Windows game, the OS version of, of uh, Steam OS actually streams the games. And I'm using a five-year-old laptop. This laptop doesn't even have a webcam. I'm just proving it to you guys, you know. And look at this. It has, um, you know, for example, PSP. Um, let, let, me, let me load a game, for example, like Tekken. Let me... The only thing is, since I'm using the laptop, the screen does do a border. It does do a border. Um, if I'm playing this uh, directly on my on a monitor, it actually goes full screen. And look at this. This is proof to you guys that they're doing a better job. Whoever. Look at this. It runs great. Let me just, like, whatever. It runs the game exactly what you have on, uh, you know, what's your specs of your computer. And I don't, this is a, this is a Latitude E430. So, just to prove to you guys that this this system is really worth it. I mean, this operating system, uh, I can actually rename the games and then actually add some screenshots, but so far I haven't done anything so far to it, you know, by putting um, um, any any effort of putting screenshots yet, because I'm still new at this, you know, because I just, I just got this installed just right now. It's actually 1.05 p.m. a.m. and I gotta say that this is a very um, amazing emulator. It runs Sega Saturn games. 
higher frame rates than it does on the PC version for some reason. And it runs great. Look, I'm going to play Street Fighter, the movie, the game. So, I, I'm going to go to the... Uh, let's just... I'm going to smoke a cigarette real quick. <clears throat> while it loads a, a fight scene. There is one drawback about it. Um, the drawback about this um, emulator is that you're not able to hear the Red Book audio. I don't know if there's a way to. I haven't even set it up yet. The Red Book. Uh, the, the Red Book. See? It runs smooth. And since I'm still new at this, I accidentally deleted Nintendo Entertainment System on my menu. Um, I haven't tested PlayStation, so this is part one of my review of Emu OS. It actually has a Steam, a uh, super. It has, it has everything you need. That's all I can say. So um, check it out. I'll put the link on my description. So. Uh, Thank you guys for watching, and if you guys can do more effort on this, please forward me your video or your channel. They can do better than me on this so far, because I just had discovered this emulator just today, because they do have an official website, but every time I click Emu OS website, it takes me back to this site. Uh, uh, let me see if there is an official website. Let me, let me go to Google, search it, and then... Uh, nope, there's no. Uh, it does have a Facebook. Look at that. Um, it is one of the best. I mean, um, it's very easy to set up. Uh, all you have to do is just drag and drop your ROMs. It has to be unzipped, though. Um, drag and drop your ROMs on the folder. When you, what you have to do is you have to go to apps uh, right here. And then you go to file manager. And then take your, you know, external drive or whatever, and then you drag and drop it over here. If you have your Steam games, you can run it right there, but I don't recommend doing that because most games don't support under Linux. But when you're playing uh, uh, Windows games, it actually streams the unit. And so far, I'm going to make a part two about it and show you guys my benchmark. But I thank you guys for watching, and check out, I want you guys to check out this logo. This is the the OS, and it is one of the best distro out there that you can get for emulation, and it's one it's really the best. Um, out of the box, I mean, out of the distro, you just have to just copy and paste your ROMs, and you're set. So my plan right now is basically, um, luckily I got a spare 640 gigabyte hard drive. And I'm going to drag and drop all those games, and then I'm going to make a, you know, a separate, you know. But the thing about the, the unit is that this um, operating system requires you to have a remote control. So I recommend you to have an Xbox 360 controller to um, make this unit work, especially when you're in, ste in Steam. Because it, it does support keyboard and mouse, but when you're playing the games, I mean, like moving it around, for example, like... Okay, yeah, I'm, right now I'm using the mouse, yeah, just to go exit this window. But when I'm back over here, I am not able to move the unit, or you have to use your... your now you're able to move it around, see what I mean? So, um, yeah. So... The link is below, so you can download it, download the ISO, and it comes with um, uh, an extractor, so you can extract it to a USB, so you're all good. Thank you for watching.